Hi, I'm Dr. Kanner from the Kanner Spine Institute, and today what I want to do is I want to demonstrate the difference between traditional cutting tools that we use in spine surgery and the new ultrasonic tools that allow much less invasive operations. The basic problem behind patients that have spinal stenosis in the neck called cervical stenosis and lumbar stenosis is that they have pressure that's pinching nerves. That pressure is typically caused by bone. And when we are fixing or treating cervical and lumbar stenosis, we have to remove the bone. And in order to do so, we need to get into the spine to get access to the nerves and to be able to remove what's pinching them. The traditional tools that we use are drills, and drills are sharp, they spin at high speed, and they have cutting edges. So because of that, we have to make a lot of room and we can't work in small spaces. This is an example of a traditional cutting tool that we use, and you can see that if I put this cutting tool next to a balloon, it pops the balloon. It'll damage the balloon. If I put this tool next to anything soft, It'll, it'll wind it up and potentially damage it. The, the newer tools are ultrasonic, and what the difference is is they don't spin, they don't have cutting edges, they don't have sharp edges. They're blades that are essentially dull, and they vibrate at about 22,000 times per second. And when they do so, you can put them directly on tissue. So I can put it on my fingers, work between my fingers, but when I put it on a something hard, it'll slice right through it. So if I'm working next to a bone, I can cut through the bone, but I don't have to worry about damaging the soft tissue next to it. So when I'm using this cutting tool, I can stick it on a balloon, and it's not going to hurt the balloon at all. Matter of fact, I can push into the balloon, and I'm not going to damage it. Compared to a traditional cutting tool, that if I touch it, it's going to cause some real problems. Ultrasonic tools allow us to work in much smaller spaces through much smaller incisions and we can essentially clean out the pressure on the nerves from the inside out. Where traditional tools we have to make big holes, we have to remove important structures and those important structures we have to use fusions, rods and screws to rebuild what we remove.